Hi everyone, Mark Chess here and welcome to the channel and today I just did an unboxing of the GH1 or the Alpha Nex from Anta. They finally arrived here in the Philippines and let's take a look what's on the hood. Let's go. So first up, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Guys, just click the subscribe button down there. And of course, that notif bell if you want to be updated for my latest videos. And of course, like this video afterwards. It will surely help a lot. So let's start off first with a preview of the upper of the GH1. And it comes with this four different colors. This is the first colors that caught my eye. It has teal and it has a white toe. And of course, the accent of orange, which... If you are a follower of this channel, you know how I love the green and orange combination. So this is a default, but a runner up that I was thinking about was the gray and green. That really looks dope. And there was a black and blue, and there's a more of a white one with hints of green on the sides. Almost all are made out of same materials but just different color combinations so you can find synthetic leather on the toe area and on the midfoot going to the heel part is wrapped around with textile mesh and so far i tried it here in my floor and the upper seems very comfortable the synthetic leather is not stiff it is very soft right off the box so this is the first time i wear this on the mesh part I think it will get a lot softer as you use them. Although I'm not sure what's the purpose of this ruffles here around the tongue part of the sneaker, but I think it's just for aesthetic purposes. It doesn't serve any performance use. But on the side, that's where the lace loops are and it's really tight. So you're very secured and you don't need to release them. On the inside of the sneaker, it's like a dual layered but the mesh is stitched on the neoprene-like material of the sneaker and inside the heel of the neoprene is like a heat-welded foam which gives you comfort at the same time giving you extra lockdown and support in the ankle and I was really trying to remove my feet with this one and there's no heel slippage so that's a very nice good news to all of us and the material is really soft it feels like neoprene and it's heat welded on the edge plus stitch for extra durability and I kind of like the accent on the neoprene it's a subtle accent but there's a heat welding there that gives you an extra touch of premiumness so that's just me I really like that touch on the upper and and there's the flame patterns around the sneaker I don't know what that means too let me know if you know that and on the tongue part, there's the signature of Gordon Hayward. So this is his signature sneaker and also can be found in the insole. And as for the insole, I'll try to remove it. Yeah, it's made out of very nice insole, which is kind of also neoprene-like. It's not those cheap insole that you can find, which is really nice. So at this price, I think all the materials currently that I'm telling you guys looks very nice and on the heel part there's an internal TPU plate plus an external TPU heel counter for access support and heel containment and lockdown and now moving on to the tech cushion of the sneaker it features a flash foam similar to the KT5 so I'm pretty excited to play with this because I really love the KT lines. I really love the A-Flash foam. There's bounciness in the forefoot and at the same time, very nice impact protection on the heel. And this one, upon trying it, and I was just pressing on the heel, I can really feel it compressing. So I think impact protection on this sneaker is very good. 
and at the same time you can see how thick it is but your foot is cradling in between this cushion which is really dope to prevent your foot from sliding all over the place and another thing that i first noticed about this sneaker is when i put it in i think all of you who are flat-footed and who likes arch support i think you would like the gh1 a lot or the alpha Nex because it has a nice arch support here in the midfoot as you can see that it is very narrow here so it feels very nice on foot when you're walking with it or running with it so i think flat-footed players will surely love this sneaker the cushion in the forefoot also feels very nice it has a slight bounce to it right now so i don't know if it will get better over time but so far so good there's enough impact protection in the forefoot and at the same time a little bounciness there and as you can see in the lateral part of the forefoot there's caging on the cushion to prevent it from over compressing and giving you more stability looking at it right now there's a very big lateral outrigger on the forefoot area gi giving you a very stable forefoot so i think it was really made for gordon hayward because he's a shooter and he likes to set up in a shot very quickly so I really like this exaggerated lateral outrigger around the forefoot area. And now moving on to the traction of the Alpha Nex. It features a spiral pattern around the forefoot area. And on the tip of it, there's another circular area. And on the ball of your foot and at the midfoot going to the back part of the sneaker, there's like lines. It's, it's very similar to the KT outsole. So I'm hoping it will perform as good as the KT line because I really love the traction on the KT line. And with this one, the rubber is very similar to the KT. The rubber materials are very hard. So I think outer use is pretty safe with this. And there's enough spacing in between the patterns or the lines of the asshole. So very excited to try this on. And you can also see in the middle part of the traction, it goes up a bit, giving you a little extra traction on the middle part of your foot. And as for the sizing of the Gordon Hayward one or GH1 or Alpha Nex, I went a full size down again in these, or if you have the KT, KT5, KT4s, just go get the same size and you're safe with that. And I think you're better off measuring it in Euro. So US 10 right now in Anta is Euro 44. So that was my Euro 44 before on a US 10.5 with Anta. So they kind of changed it up on the sizing, but just to let you know and give you a heads up, if you are planning to cop a pair, better yet, try them in store, try your size. But for me, I'm usually a US 11. Before on the KD4, I went half a size down, but on the KD5, I got the US 10. So. US 10 again on the GH1. So I think the full size down is recommended on the GH1 if you're a regular footer. But if you're a wide footer, maybe you just go half a size down. And for the price of the GH1, an impressive 4,895. So 4,900 pesos for this amazing or good looking sneaker with a very nice tech. And it's the premium cushion Anta can offer you guys and I hope the traction will perform as good as the KT line and if it does I think it's really a very nice signature sneaker at its price point so guys let me know what you think about the sneaker do you like the design and will you be getting a pair and it will be released today in all Anta stores here in the Philippines SM Aura and SM Mega Mall to be exact two of the flagship stores that are certain to have this pair already so better drop by to the anta store nearest you and go try out the gh1 or the alpha next so that's it for me today this has been marches once again thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace